wanted to come to Whole Foods. So that's where we're at. I mean. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Central Market. I'm sorry, y'all. And, um. I'm trying to flip the camera. So I got my Starbucks coffee. I'm gonna get a few things. So yeah, we're in Central Market. Michael wanted to come in and get a few things. And um, oh look at that ice, y'all! It looks so good. Are y'all ice eaters? Because I love to watch uh, ice eating videos on YouTube, and I love to eat ice. You know. I even made a video of eating ice and um i love me some ice like i got a deep freezer right and um a stand-up freezer also and my stand-up freezer i have my own little like i don't allow my family in the freezer ain't that right mike do i allow y'all in that freezer <laughs> i don't allow my family in that freezer because i like to scrape the freezer frost and eat the ice so it's only right i already got a lot of stuff in my hand already so it's only why you get no basket yes you do because i ain't carrying nothing else player so uh yeah i like to scrape the freezer frost and eat it y'all so i'm one of those ice eating people okay but yeah i love coming in here because you just get to see all the pretty colors and vegetables and stuff so, um, he can make us something to eat. So, he's going to do, you doing a homemade tomato soup? Yeah. Is that going to be good? I don't know. Is it going to be? I'm just asking. Yeah. I was dead ass. You know me. I never, you never made no homemade tomato soup. Tomato soup. <laughs> y'all let me stop because um uh, y'all know my husband he is the chef so but i just never had um is that lemongrass right there i just never had a homemade tomato soup so yeah let's get some fresh herbs because we need to make sure we put you put basil off in that thing So y'all yeah, keep flipping the camera around. What that fresh basil over there? Yeah, it's wilted. It's, it's wilted. Y'all, I love me some. I love me some basil, y'all. Like, I would eat the basil off the stem. It is so good to me. Basil is so good to me. So yes, will we end up somewhere else? I don't know, but. Why are you looking crazy? <laughs> you be killing me looking like that. So, oh, man. you cold? Not, not Mike. Mike cold? Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, we started at Starbucks. I ended up getting a sugar cookie latte. Hot. And um, I'm kind of disappointed because my spirit was telling me, hey, add another pump. Uh, have them add another pump of uh, sweetener to it, some sugar or something to it, and I didn't do that. And when I got my cup, it was like I couldn't taste the sugar cookie or nothing sweet in it. So I was mad. I was like, uh uh. But I didn't turn around. We just kept going because I had to be somewhere. So let's go up here by the mushrooms because I want to show them the mushrooms. So yeah, let me show y'all what's cool about this store. Like, cause people are big on mushrooms nowadays, especially if you're a vegan. It's so many different type of mushrooms you can get and eat and cook with. So I think this is really cool. Mike, look at the truffles over there. The truffles. You got fresh, yeah, those truffles. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> See y'all, you gotta put people on because sometimes people don't be known. We know because, you know, my baby a cookie, a chef, you know. We know about truffles and stuff like that because they expensive. Let, let's see the price on them. $40 for that piece. Let me see. Turn. Man. So, yeah, yeah, this is a different variety of mushrooms. Me, personally, I love the uh, oyster and the lion's uh, bag. Um, I haven't too much tried any of the different ones. Uh, too many of uh, the other ones. But let me show y'all the cool part about these mushrooms because they actually have a mushroom microform where they grow. That's the light. So if the, it changed, that's the light. Where they grow their own mushrooms, y'all. So this is really cool. But I love how their vegetables and fruits and stuff. I love how their fruits and vegetables and stuff, like everything in here is set up, it's out in the open, like it's organized really well, you know, so I love the store. What's wrong? A brine kit, they got a brine kit. So, you know central market you can get everything fresh from the juices and stuff so if you're a juicer and you want fresh juice you know they have exotic fruit um i'm noticing in the buddha hand it's been like making its way into all the stores lately look at that y'all mike come check this fruit out right here this is called the buddha's hand now i haven't tasted this yet but they infused this one. Okay, they infused this one. That's all right. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm highly into, like, um, exotic fruits and stuff. I remember when I first came to Texas and I was, like, in different stores, I had to try, you know, go to the Asian markets and try uh, the different exotic fruits and stuff. That's where you can find a lot of them that's not in stores. You can find them in the Asian markets and stuff like that. So, yeah. And y'all, I know y'all like, she sound country. I am from Mississippi, y'all. Born and raised in Mississippi. Um, I moved to, y'all look at the meat department, right? And you got the seafood department. So this store is really cool. Michael loved this store and he loves whole food. Uh, what's the other BG? What is it called? The other store you like to go to? H-E-B. Yeah, H-E-B. He liked that store too. So, yeah. This store is really big. I know my father-in-law would have loved something like this. Mike is big on his steaks. He loves steaks. He eat them so much, sometimes I find myself fussing at them because too much red meat isn't good for you. But you can't tell this man nothing. Ain't that right? can't tell you nothing. So, yeah. So, y'all. Yeah. Different meat, steak, Cornish hens, and all types of different varieties you can choose from. So cool. Y'all, he is so funny. He waits till I walked off to talk to y'all to so get the cut that he wanted. So I won't see how much it costs and stuff, but I'm gonna see. They think he's sleep. Here's uh, the middle one. The middle one right here. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, again, I ain't complaining. I guess we're gonna be eating real good this morning. I mean, this, this evening or whatever. Y'all look at Mr. I don't need no basket. <laughs> look. <laughs> That's only one steak. What you gonna cut that in half for me and you? Huh? You cutting that steak in half for both of us? 
Who's the shit? Yeah, this okay, well, I'm letting you know now. I'm, okay, I don't care. As long as I get some, too. I'm eating it when... He get mad, y'all, when I eat off his plate and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, I, I don't be caring. You gonna give me some. Oh, look at... What the heck? What is that? Oh. What, what kind of fish is this? Man. Hey, my boy, they got you, didn't he? Man. That baby huge. So, but y'all, as I was saying, he would get so mad. Y'all, look at this. Look at this, y'all. They got tags. That must be some good uh, salmon right there. So, my baby, when he do salmon, he get the best salmon. What's that salmon you call you to get us? That's really good. Okra or, 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 king? or king? Who? Or king. Or, or a king, y'all. So, that's the best type of salmon. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I know a little something, something. Cause my man is the chef. <laughs> Y'all look at these shrimp. Now let me talk about these name brand uh, tag salmon. <laughs> Baby, they tag like they tell me here for go on some Versace. Yeah, you know I man. Bro, what are you talking about, man? How much it is? $18.99 a pound. I've never seen them with a the tag on. So y'all, aren't y'all glad that it's the holidays? Like, I'm so cheerful and everything. So, happy, 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 happy. This is my favorite holiday. And um, yes, I'm following Mike around. Drinking my Starbucks coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to another one of my favorite parts of the store. Come through here and smell all this good smelling coffee. Coffee beans. You got the candy and stuff down there. Christmas decorations. So y'all, you know people was ready for Christmas holidays because before Thanksgiving was even over with advertising Christmas stuff. <laughs> well, my husband loved looking at chocolates because we like to eat different chocolates and sip on wine and stuff like that, y'all. We bougie. We bougie, baby. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> look, we didn't. We look, we didn't. We didn't came from the projects, and uh, we didn't. We didn't trans transition to the bougie. So, uh, yeah. But hey, do they got them orange cranberry muffins? Mm -hmm. The orange cranberry. Just uh, around the time they get them. Say cranberry blueberry. I don't know nothing about no cranberry blueberry. Now. I do the I do the cranberry orange. I don't even know why they ain't got that. Now why he wanted to walk back here? I don't know. Cause I'm a uh, bad. This is an actual cake. I'm real big on dessert, y'all. French macarons. I know how to make a lot of that. I know how to make everything in this case, y'all. Everything. You know, he like, girl, come on here. Gingerbread houses. Definitely got to get the kiddos one. So I love this time of the year, y'all. 
because all the way up until Christmas, until Christmas Day, you know, I like to buy gingerbread houses, you know, and decorate them with the kids. You know, popcorn on the string, pop a lot of popcorn, wrap it around a Christmas tree. I like to do a lot of um, fun activities, you know, so those salads look good. Babe, look at these salads. Them salads look good. And of course, he's leaving me, y'all. So, yes. Let's get to check it out. Yeah, this is another favorite part of mine. My husband always get me fresh flowers. And they have so many of them in here. They cut them on spot for you. Whatever you need, they got you. Fresh, fresh flowers. All these are fresh flowers, y'all. Oh my God, I'm in love. Poisonetta. I don't think I, I don't know if I said that correctly. So we're checking out. So oh, y'all see he only got two bags. <laughs> you got the cheese and the bread and stuff? Oh, you gonna get a different stuff? So y'all, oh, okay. So y'all, I love this time of the year. You know, things is changing for me and my, you know, our family or whatever. And um, I love it. There's some good sides to it and bad sides. The bad side is, you know, um, being that I'm stepping off into this new career, you know, this job is going to require me to do a lot of hours at work, 12 hour shift. So that means spending time away from my family, which is going to like make me kind of sick, but I got to get used to it because I'm so used to being around my family. Like I love. I love to be around my family, you know, and my kids and stuff like that. Like, me and Mike, we're homebodies. So, you know, he work a lot. You know, I will still have my my business and stuff like that. And I will also be still, you know, taking care of. This job is going to require me to spend more time at work than at home, you know. And... I'm excited because it pays good, even though I'm not in it for the pay. But, hey, I got to take care of my family. Um, I remember, you know, asking God to put me in a position of where I'm serving others. I love to serve others. And, you know, I, I love people and stuff like that. So, my thing was, you know, I want to do what, you know, God would do. God would serve others. So, this came about, you know, becoming a CNA and nursing and stuff like that. So I always dreamed as a little girl of being in the medical field. You know, that was one of my things to mark off the list. And hey, well, you know, I didn't do that. So, you know, I'm still wanting to pursue, you know, my education. The nurse, here I come. You know what I'm saying? Like, here I come. God got me. You know, I know it's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. What is it? You know, but God got me. So, I'm ready. I'm ready because I want my family to be put into a better position. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I just want us to keep climbing and climbing to the top. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we got to do what we got to do. We still got the food truck and everything. A lot is going on with that. Wrapping, uh, re, uh, what you call that, babe? Rebranding and stuff like that. So, we're still doing catering. In fact, we do have a catering gig, another catering gig. We just did a wedding. We have another catering gig coming up this month. Is that that at the end? At the end of the month. So, you know.